Hi, my name is John Marshall. Um, I'm from Fruji. Um, I make ice cream, gelato, sorbet, cakes and chocolate from start to finish. Okay, I, I, I suppose we, we used to go to a lot of restaurants. I used to cook a lot of the, the main courses and in all sorts of uh, stuff. You know, I've done all the training in Malay, Thai, Japanese, French. And um, I always really liked the dessert. So um, I suppose that's where the dessert side of me sort of come out. And then one day, I was at a beautiful delicatessen in one of the suburbs of Canberra and I saw this beautiful shiny um, ice cream machine with a refrigerator on it and all that and typical IT side of me was white and shiny and I had to buy it. I then promptly left it in the box, you know, in the kitchen until my wife re reminded me that there was a, an ice cream machine I'd bought. So again, I had a crack at it, and I think I did a sorbet, something like a raspberry sorbet the first time, and it ended up quite nice. And I think that just got me thinking about the rest of the uh, recipes in the book that come around. And um, from then on, I got an interest in, okay, if I wanted to pursue this, you know, how would I make the best ice cream in the world or the best sorbet or gelati? So um, I then took a, um, a commercial ice cream course which absolutely horrified me because the ice cream equipment was great but it was all pre-made product it was you know cut the top off this bag and put this paste in there and I, I just thought right okay the equipment's got to stay but none of the none of the ingredients um, but then I have to thoroughly understand what all the ingredients do all the different types of sugars and how to measure sugar, you know, in fruits and um, um, yeah, that's how I started off with that. Fruji itself, I believe, is uh, Latin. This is where I'm possibly proven to be wrong here uh, for fruits of the forest or fruits of the earth. And um, we was at a loss basically to uh, find a name for the company. So I went and used Dr. Google to uh, find a Latin dictionary and we basically went through all of the alphabet and I found this, this one word with Fruji with a single I and I added an extra I so it was different to the word and um, we ended up with uh, Fruji. I think when I was about 12 years old, someone bought me, a, um, a, I think it was a LaRouche Practique or something like that. No idea why, uh, I, th I think I know which uh, auntie and uncle it was, and uh, they bought that me and um, I um, started reading it the one day, I opened the book out where there was some bread and I cooked the bread and it ended up just like that in the picture and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was a complete fluke but it was enough to sort of uh, get me into like I quite like this and the bread tasted good and um, I think I've always had an interest from then on. Um, I make everything from scratch so I make all my own nut pastes, I make my own extracts, vanilla extracts for instance, make my own chocolate I make all my own uh, fruit purees and all that kind of stuff, um, which is uh, sort of allows me full control over my products. Um, my ice cream is sort of an eggs, milk, cream, and sugar. Um, I use, I do use a little bit of full natural uh, stabilizer, derivatives of seaweed, carrageenans, um, because I don't need to be able to scoop it from my cabinet to sell to someone in a scoop but a majority of my customers take it home and because they take home you know a 380 ml 750 ml I want their experience of my ice cream to be the same at least over a week or two or three uh, before they come back for the next serve and um, without the stabilizer emulsifier it would collapse pretty quick and um, all my clients are pretty happy with it. Um, but yeah, I, I just make it all from scratch and I typically go out either on food pairing and, uh, and choose something or 
I go with what's available at the markets, the farmers markets. I think the most interesting one at the moment, and I think I've done so many what people deem as interesting now, it's sort of blurred my line a little bit, but um, you know, I've done the, the chilies and I've done uh, clove oil, which uh, um, is a, quite a big seller now. But um, a lady got married last year here in Canberra and she came up to me and she said, I want you to make the ice cream for my wedding. And she said, but I want something different. I went, no problem at all. She went, I want roast potato ice cream. So I thought, okay, I obviously didn't quite hear that right. And I went, I bet you didn't meant roast potato, did you? And she went, yeah, I'd like roast potato. When I was a child, I used to eat all the family's roast potatoes. If anyone left roast, she said, I've got the whole family there. And they said, if this guy can do roast potato ice cream, she went, I'm sure he can. I says, all right. I said, well, I'll have a go if it's the real deal, if I can make it. So. Um, we got some roast potatoes and I got some ice cream, put them together, you know, and then it sort of didn't work. And it's like anything when you add, when you add a flavor to uh, a, a base, it changes the flavor, you know, huge. So it's a case of then going, okay, what do roast potatoes really taste? What are those heightened parts, the caramel, the, 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 the crispness, the texture? the saltiness and um, in my case my mum always used to cook it with rosemary so a little bit of rosemary in there and uh, basically we got together a roast potato ice cream and uh, I actually sell it at time to time now at the markets and people absolutely love it and it's just like eating roast potato it's ridiculous um, so that's one of the, the weirdest ones I've ever done. Um, roll out more, uh, spend more and more time and then uh, one day I've always had my retirement uh, from IT will be full-time Mr. Fruji. Um, in something I'm sort of looking at in a sort of label as a dessert bar, uh, certainly ice creams, gelati and sorbets, certainly uh, my handcrafted uh, chocolates. Um, and my cakes. Um, uh, the cakes are typically more of a French, French tort um, or um, anything that sort of Paco Torreblanca turns out to his level. Um, I, I love his sort of really high-end looking Schmidt cakes, all nice and square and, and, and flavours to match as well. So something around about there. Um, will be uh, evolving into using uh, or selling verines over the winter period um, which is nice because I can bring the three lines together in the one then uh, which will be a Mr. Fruji in a single shot sort of thing. Self-taught, done a few courses and read a load of books and not just like, um, you know, domestic sort of books, but commercial books. Um, I've got one in there just purely on sugar that's 400 pages that it is hard reading at times. But, you know, what else do you do at one in the morning? <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, um, I read up on, you know, molecular structure of stuff. Um, I have... Um, yeah, a lot of the um, the guys, I've, I've just forgot the guy's name down there, uh, Harold McGee, um, you know, on food and cooking, have, that's a ha has to read, and then, you know, you understand what's happening then, I think that's, that's the important thing to me. Definitely, no problem at all, I mean, um, you know, uh, I often think about that, you know, is it, is it a good thing to do, you know, when do you retire? I mean, you know, there's always that question, we, we don't know if we will be here. Um, uh, you know, hopefully if it's really quick, you probably won't know a minute earlier either. Um, but certainly can you do it? I think if you, if you get off on it, if that's your passion, 
Um, I think the only thing it can do is uh, elongate your life because you're doing something you truly love. And um, yeah, I, I think that's, that's, it's a cert, certainty for me, yeah.